in this next set of videos, we will be talking about rate and work problems. A lot of students tell me that they don't like rate problems. When we are first starting out, oftentimes when I ask if there's anything that they want to focus on, the first thing people say is they struggle with rate problems, but rates are definitely on the list of questions that I like on the GMAT. Not necessarily because they are easy, but because they can be anticipated. They can be prepared for. And anything that you can prepare for on a test like the GMAT, where pattern recognition is such a big component, I would say you can't come plain about. And so I promise you that the only thing that you really need to understand to answer any rate question, no matter what type of rate or work question it is, the only thing you really need to know is this concept here, this equation. Rate times time is equal to distance, or rate times time is equal to work. As long as it makes intuitive sense to you that if you have a car that is driving at 30 miles per hour, and it drives for two hours, then it has driven 60 miles. I promise you that is all you need to know to answer just about any rate question. Everything else is just going to be application of this bad idea here. And so one caveat that I want to add to that, though, is that oftentimes people tell me that they struggle with rate problems, but then we start doing them, and it turns out that they actually understand rates pretty well. They can set up rate problems. They can organize the information in rate problems. They can translate the information into equations. But then when it comes down to the final step of simply doing the arithmetic to get the final answer, that is where they get stuck. And the reason for that is oftentimes rates are given as a fraction and therefore, to solve rate problems, you have to multiply and divide by some messy fractions sometimes. And people get tripped up by that. But I would say manipulating fractions is on the fundamentals checklist. I would consider that to be pre-studying. And if that is the thing that trips you up, then you don't really have a problem with rate questions. You have a problem with fractions. And you probably should not be doing rate problems. You shouldn't really even be doing GMAT problems. You should get a drill set of a hundred or so fraction problems where you can just practice adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing fractions. And so I have plenty of those in the foundation section of the website. So you can look at those or get some other drill set. The only way to learn that is to really just drill it into your brain. And if you do that and make it second nature, you can then come back to rate problems and you will probably find them to be much more enjoyable. So with that word of caution, let's get started.